Hello and welcome to the Foam Burner Don't Be Complicated training. My name is Jeff Osnes. I am the presenter, the host. Uh, if you need to reach me, you can send an email to jeff at phoneburner.com. Once again, that's jeff at phoneburner.com. Uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about the calendar in Phone Burner. So let's go ahead and jump into our Phone Burner account. Um, and yes, Phone Burner does have a calendar. It's found under the Appointments tab. So if you click on Appointments, you'll see your calendar. Uh, you can switch it from daily, weekly, and monthly view. Adding appointments from within the calendar is super easy. Just double click on the uh, spot where you want to add it, uh, enter a description. If I can learn how to type, uh, you got your date, your time, uh, recurrence. You can recur weekly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Um, you can have the system send you a reminder as little as five minutes before, up to five hours before. However, do note that if you set up recurring events, only a reminder for the very first event will go out. All subsequent events will not have a reminder go out. So just keep that in mind. You can also have the system send you an email with the appointment, uh, with an appointment file. That you can open up and save in, say, Outlook or iCalendar or whatnot. So, uh, and then you just, once you've, once you've made all these updates, hit Save. You'll see the appointment show up on your calendar. Um, now, the way most of you will probably use it is from the contact manager or from a dial session. So let's go ahead and talk about that. We'll click on Contacts. Um, let's, I'm just going to go pull up one of my test contacts real quick. Um, so if we open up a test contact, you'll see that we've got the Add Appointment link here. So when you're, if you're working with a contact in the Contact Manager, you can click on Add Appointment. It'll open up a calendar, an appointment uh, window for the calendar. Uh, it'll insert the contact's name, their phone number. Uh, automatically in the subject line, you can do the description. So whatever you want your description to be, um, of course, date and time, uh, reminder, recurrence, all of that stuff is still here. Um, however, this is a little bit different because the system knows what prospect this is tied to. You can actually have the system send um, an appointment email to them. So the system can actually send an appointment email to them regarding this appointment with the subject and description if you have an email address for the contact. This contact does not have one, so that would be irrelevant for me to try to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, actually let's go ahead and just save this. And if we go to our appointments, we'll see it's now listed here. I go to my calendar, I can see this. Um, and uh, edit it if I need to. If I want to go to the contact details, I can click on that, and it will take me back to my contact details. So it's all kind of tied together if you, if you schedule it from within the contact record. So let's go ahead and cancel, go back to contacts, do my search for my test contacts again. And let's jump in and do a test dial session. So here's a test contact, go down. Begin dial session. For those of you who've never seen a dial session, I'm going to do a dial session here for you. I want you to see the whole process. Uh, the cool thing about phone burner is it doesn't require any special equipment, uh, so you just use your phone. In this example, I'm actually using uh, Skype as my phone. So what you're seeing here, I'm using Skype just so that you can see the fact that I'm dialing. If I was using my cell phone or my office phone or a home phone or a pay phone, you wouldn't be able to see it without me setting up some sort of word camera setup, and I don't want you to see me. So um, I'm kind of in my pajamas. So <laughs> anyway, um, when you're starting a dial session, you can select a phone script if you want one. Um, you can select your voicemail. You can record many voicemails, and then you just select the one you want to use for the dial session. Uh, we've talked about disposition sets. If we wanted to switch our disposition set, we could do that now if we wanted to. I'm just going to leave it at the standard set. Uh, and testing your browser pass. Now let's go ahead and hit begin dial session. Now you'll see that it says uh, call this number and enter your PIN. So I'm going to go ahead and call this number. If I were using a cell phone, I would pick up my cell phone and call that number. But since I'm using Skype, I'm going to use Skype to call the number. 
That's going to call me into the system. Please enter your personal identification number. I'm going to enter my PIN. Please wait while I look up your account. Thank you. Once you click the Start button on your screen, your dial session will begin. Now remember, if I was on my cell phone or my office phone or my home phone, I would just use the dial pad on that phone to enter my PIN. This is just for an example. You do not have to have Skype, um, but you can use Skype if you'd like. So once we're connected, let's go ahead and move this off the screen. Actually, I'm going to leave it on there because you do need to stay connected. If you disconnect, the session ends. So you'll notice that I'm still connected, and I hit Start Dialing. And now you can hear it calling me. All right. All right. Let's mute that line. So anyway, just called. Um, hit live answer, do my, have my conversation, talk to my prospect, and I hit schedule follow-up. And you'll notice the appointment window pops up. And it's got the contact's name and phone number in there, description. I can type the description of my uh, follow-up call. Uh, date and time, recurrence, reminder, appointment email to me. Um, and do I want to send it? Or appointment email to prospect and appointment email to me. Sorry about confusing you on there. If you ever get, if you ever forget what these are, you can always just put your mouse over the little information bubble and get more details. So I hit end this call, save the appointment, and not ready yet. Continue. Goodbye. So you'll notice um, some of you who've used phone burner may have noticed that dial session window looked different than yours. There are different versions of the dialer. I was using our older version in that particular uh, instance. But let's go to our calendar, and we'll see our test test right there, our jibber jabber, all of our details here. Now. Some of you may be wondering about this appointment email to prospect. There's a couple emails in here. What do they say? Can you create your own? Of course you can. So let's go ahead and cancel this. We're going to go to Dial Sessions. We're going to click on uh, Message Library. We're going to go down to the bottom, and you'll see Appointment Notices. There are two that are automatically in there, and you can add a new appointment notice. So I'll just go ahead and add one. And so the name, this is what you'll see in that drop-down menu. Your prospects will not see that. Uh, the subject, they will see. So here is our uh, point and details. Here are the details. Don't forget. Granted, you can create all kinds of cool stuff. We've got personalization codes here. So if you want to have the system insert your contact's first name into the email, we just copy that. And we could do, hey, John, here are the details. Don't forget. Um, we could insert um, any of our custom fields. Uh, all of this stuff, you know, there's so much that can be added um, to the to the appointment details. Like, um, here's one thing. We have a lot of people that deal with like loans, like mortgage guys that use the system. They might have uh, a loan uh, file number or a loan doc number uh, that is associated with their contacts. Um, and so they can add, you know, they could use that custom field, whatever custom field was their custom field for their account, you know, that loan doc number, and add that. Um, here is your account number, and insert the, this, the uh, merge code for that specific item that they want to have in there so that the person knows that they're, they're dealing with the right person uh, and it's the, it's the correct email. Then we just hit Save This Appointment Notice, and we'll see it listed here. We go back to our calendar. Oh. 
and there it is, custom test. We can have the system send that to our prospects as we update things. Um, and it would be available in a dial session. So let me, I'll actually just show you that real quick. Let's go to settings. I'm going to show you the other dial session window. You'll notice I'm on phone burner 1.0 for that one. Let's go ahead and switch it to 2.0. Save settings. Contacts. Our search for a test. And let's call our test. Pops up our dial session window. You notice it's all very simple. And I'm just going to show you once again that we're just calling in. We're going to leave all this stuff the same. You'll notice the dial session window already looks a little bit different. And we actually have a new version of the dialer that's coming out here very, very soon. So I'm just going to make that window a little bit larger so it doesn't chop some stuff off. Let's go over to Skype. Call. Once again, Skype is just my phone in this case. So just substitute Skype for your cell phone, your office phone, your whatever. Um, Please enter your personal identification number. Please wait while I look up your account. Thank you. Once you click the start button on your screen, your dial session will begin. So now we're connected. Hit start dialing. And you'll notice the dial session window is a little bit different. Okay. So we just called and connected to our contact. We hit live answer. Uh, we've got our details. If we want to update phone numbers, sign-up dates. You know, if we want to update any information on our contact record, we can within the custom, you know, those custom fields. We've got our notes, uh, schedule follow-up. Boom! There it is. The window we are now all so familiar with. And our appointment email to prospect, right there. And then we hit save. System saves it and call. Not ready yet. Goodbye. Report. If I click here, open up the details, I can always see my history. What emails have been sent to the contact. Appointment details, follow up call schedule. So um, let's go ahead and close that, move this out of the way, I'll go back to our calendar, and now we've got another one in here. And boom, there you go. So and the last thing I'm going to show you when it comes to the calendar is if you want to, if, if you get up in the morning and you're headed out and you want to take along your calendar with you, uh, you can print it out. It will open up here, give you kind of an overview of all of your contacts and uh, their phone numbers in the subject line, the summary. And um, that way you'll have that with you and plenty of room to add custom notes while you're out and about. So uh, that is the calendar. Pretty cool little feature um, that you can use within the system. And so let's go ahead and close out our call. Once again, phone burner pricing, 7.5 hours for $67.50 a month. That's 450 minutes of usage. Those minutes do roll over, so any minutes you don't use, you can use the next month. Uh, it will be added to the 450 minutes that you get that next month. And you get email and phone support. Now, if you're going to make more than 900 dials a month, on average, that's, my, that's kind of my, my recommendation, then I recommend that you bump up to the phone burner unlimited. Otherwise, you have the potential of spending more than $149 and you're counting minutes. So you might as well just be on the unlimited. Uh, you can use it all day long. You don't have to count your time. Uh, it's, uh, you get email and phone support. Now, if you don't already have an account, please sign up at phoneburner.biz. Uh, that will give me credit for it, and I can make a little extra money. Um, if you like what I've, what I've created here, of course, like the video uh, and share it with your friends. 
the, um, if somebody else has referred you to Phone Burner, please sign up through their link so they get credit for it. And if you already have a Phone Burner account, excellent. Thank you for supporting Phone Burner, and I hope it's been very effective for you. So uh, I hope you have a great day, and happy prospecting.